Halloween is just a few weeks away mm -hmm. and you would think that the fall weather would be here by now. It's really not, but it sounds like we have some dreary weather around the corner. <laughs> yes, this week we most certainly do. But like I was talking about with Suzanne earlier this morning, October is a big transitional month for yeah. us. So yesterday our average high was 84 for the first day of October. Get this, by October 31st, it's down to 68. Wow. So we're going to see some changes in here in Central Georgia. Hopefully over the next few weeks, you're looking live over downtown Macon. Atrium Health Navicent, 69 degrees is the current number in Bibb County. Take a look across the region. Radar is quiet. The green you see out towards the state line, that's just backscattered from the radar. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s, 69 here in Macon and in Warner Robins. A pair of sixes in Gordon, 64 already in Johnson County this evening and 68 in McRae. All right, let's take a look at the big picture across the southeast. Upper level low up near Missouri, an associated cold front out towards Texas. And what this means is a whole lot of Gulf moisture out ahead of it. And here's the thing with the low, though. It's moving down closer to central Georgia, but it's going to stall out. It's cut off from the jet stream, so there's not a whole lot of mechanisms to move it around. That's why we're going to be looking at a lot of rain here over the next few days. So let's get into future view tomorrow morning, starting off in the middle 60s, expect an overnight low of about 66 with some clouds waking up tomorrow morning. Wouldn't be surprised to see some fog again tomorrow morning as well. Then once we get into the afternoon, I've increased rain chances a little bit from seven to nine. We're now going to go with a 30% chance of rain for Sunday. I don't think we're going to see as much as you just saw, but I do think we do have a better chance. Then for Monday, that's kind of our transitional day. All right, so we're waking up with a few showers, but then once we get into the evening hours, especially into the overnight hours into Tuesday, some heavier rain possible, maybe even a thunderstorm in some spots across central Georgia, not looking at much in the way of severe weather though. So a rumble of thunder, thunder possible Monday into Tuesday, then waking up Tuesday morning, some scattered showers across the area and we'll do it all over again. Then we'll do it all over again on Wednesday and throw Thursday in there as well for good measure as that low just hangs out around us four o'clock right when the fair gets underway down there in Perry could be looking at some rain across central Georgia. Unfortunately, however, this is not set in stone. Notice some disagreement in the models, so we'll be watching this closely as the start of the fair gets closer here in central Georgia. The good thing Friday does look drier, not completely dry as the low continues to move off towards the north and things hopefully drying out for the weekend. Again, not completely dry, but mostly dry. So let's put some numbers to it. A 30% chance of rain for Sunday. That's up to 70% for Monday and Tuesday, 60% for Wednesday, 40% for Thursday. That's more based off the uncertainty rather than the coverage area. And we're not talking about a small amount of rain. We're talking about potentially a lot um, on the order of an inch to maybe even three inches in some spots. That's the European model. Here's the official forecast from NOAA. Notice, high, notice higher totals there to the north up there, Putnam County towards Forsyth. That's when you get into the three to five inch range across central Georgia. So for tonight, we're headed for an overnight low of about 64 degrees. It's going to be cooling rather quickly tonight. The seven day forecast shapes up like this. Going to see some rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The fair begins on Thursday. Connor Hines is back with sports right after this.